and action. I'm gonna make uh, candle holders like this. A lot of them. Um, it's not really complex. It's very easy, so I'm not not gonna explain. Like over the years, I sometimes see like a piece that I think is pretty, but you cannot really build anything with it. So yeah, this is just not gonna lie. This is just nothing. It's just a piece of wood. But uh, like this one, it's like a very wild pattern. It's nice. Or this one. It's a hardwood offcut. That's like a nice wavy pattern. <coughs> this is. Looks like firewood, but it's perfectly cut and there's actually a nice end grain here. It's. I think walnut. Looks like walnut. And then very pretty pink. This must be pear, I guess. Looks like pear, maybe cherry. No, it's probably pear. And then so actually it's just an ugly stick, but we'll make it pretty. And ta -ta -ta. I also have this one, sometimes I change my mind and I just cut the corners slightly and now it's a cheese plank or like meat plank, if you're not into cheese. So yeah, let's get going, it will be, it will be dusty like hell, like, like no fun dust, like, like dust everywhere. So. Don't do this at home or in a small garage or something because you will spend like a week cleaning up after sending for a couple of hours. So just do it outside and afterwards say sorry to your neighbor. So yeah, let's get sending.
And now I let it dry. And then I sometimes I spray a thin coat of lacquer over it. Even though people say you shouldn't mix uh, linseed oil, linseed oil with lacquer, but it seems to work fine. So let's do the rest. So let's end with some uh, some genuine wood porn. People seem to love that part. You never know which type of color it gets with Acacia. Like sometimes it, it goes really dark. Sometimes it stays very light. And it has to do with how much of the soft wood or the dying wood is still there. Well, This is a very hard wood. One of the. So, yeah, it's not a job, but if you make if you want to make your hobby a little bit less expensive, then uh, this makes sense. That's why you never see people make them in Europe or America, at least I don't think so for profit. It's always Bangladesh or whatever, and it's totally fine. You see, here's more that part of the wood. Then that gets really dark. And I don't know. I like it. So, what did I learn? Measure the distance before you cut. That's an important one if you do this. And making them takes like 10 minutes, maybe slightly more. Sending them. That's easily 20, 30 minutes more. That's a little bit the problem. How long are you gonna send? Because the longer you send, the prettier it is, of course. But also, then it starts to make less and less sense to actually make them, if you consider that you want at least one euro for your time per hour. So yeah, if this is a total hobby, then send as long as you want, of course. I'm always a messy guy. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, done. Thanks for watching. It wasn't very rocket size this time. Uh, candle holders, this so. Yeah, they're fun to make and if you are into wood woodworking and you want to start, this is easier than a birdhouse. So I think it cannot get easier than this. <laughs>